So we have a very nice lady from Albany. She's young, she's beautiful, as you saw in the pictures. Um, but when she smiles, you can see the wide nostrils and she's not concerned about the tape and the other parts, just the nostrils, so they need to be brought in. She wanted like a huge change, like a really tiny, and I explained to her that with her face, that's not going to look good. It has to be appropriate, so it's going to be appropriate. We will just gently bring it in. I'll do a large ELR plasty, but not the jumbo. She wanted a jumbo. Mm -mm -mm. Jumbo is for like NBA players, <laughs> okay? Not for her, so let's get started. And thank you for coming from Albany. Hello, Albany. There we are. Hey, stop smiling. My gosh, she hasn't stopped smiling since she walked in. Because she's so excited. Because I know she has been thinking about it for a long time. And I cannot wait to give her the nostrils that she wants. And look at her. She's got beautiful lips. She's got perfect symmetry. And there we are. Excellent. Great. And above all, she's not shy. And I like that. <laughs> Very good. So let's get going so we can take care of these nostrils. As you can see, they're really flat and wide. And we really need to make them smaller, a lot smaller. And there we go. Let's get started. So I want you to notice this asymmetry, as you can see. It's so critical in ALR plasty. So there is central line for the upper lip and central for the nose. They do not match, as you can see, different directions. And that's why sometimes it can throw off the markings. And we have done the marking on this side. Let's go a little closer, right there. We have made it to be exactly equal, right there. Sometimes we have to accommodate a little bit, but not too much, because you really can't fix that asymmetry. Here we are, we finished, and look at those nostrils, baby. That's gonna be nice. And they look really good, they're symmetrical, they're a lot narrower than what she had, and that's exactly what she wanted. So I'm very happy for her, and she's coming back in five days, and we'll show you exactly what it looks like then, because right now there's a lot of edema, and actually injection-related swelling right there. That's what it is, so excellent, very happy. Make sure you clean it well, that's the number one problem when you get infection, please, please, please. One week post-op, here we are again from Albany. Albany, New York, thank you for sending us this beautiful lady. The stitches are out, they're all gone, and we have the Dermabond glue on it right now. You can see how the nozzles have narrowed down very nicely, very symmetric, and we don't have any sign of infection or scarring or anything. And obviously there's still some swelling, but much better than the day of surgery. And now you can really tell the difference. So there we are, excellent. And now she's getting a little greedy. She wants a tip plasty and an implant on the top and everything, oh my goodness. Well, we'll keep her happy and we'll probably do it. And we'll keep you posted.